You know what one of my all-time favorite anime is? Steins Gate. I absolutely adore Steins Gate, and probably one of the most well-known things about Steins Gate in general is the lab members, particularly Okabe's, love of Dr. Pepper. And although the look of the bottle and the name clearly scream Dr. Pepper, if you actually look at the bottle closely, it's never quite Dr. Pepper. It's always something like DK Pepper, Dakota Pepper, or some other slightly off variation of Dr. Pepper. As a matter of fact, it's Dr. People in the visual novel. Now, on the other end of the product placement spectrum, let me talk about another one of my favorite anime. Let me talk about Code Geass. Specifically, it's R2 that I love. Season 1 is okay, but back on topic, Code Geass has several moments of blatant product placements for Pizza Hut. As a matter of fact, see too, one of the main characters eats exclusively Pizza Hut, and although there's about just as much product placement for Pizza Hut as there is Dr. Pepper in Steins Gate, in Code Geass, it's actually called Pizza Hut. It's not Pizza Hot or Hat, it's actually Pizza Hut. So why is that, you may be wondering? Why is Code Geass allowed to have Pizza Hut in its universe, but Steins Gate can't quite have Dr. Pepper, even though it's obviously Dr. Pepper? What is with all this bootleg product placement we've been seeing so much of in anime in the past few years. Well, that is the topic at hand today. In anime bootlegs versus product placement, why do some anime get to use brands, but others have to go on this slightly mistranslated, poorly painted bootleg road of McDonald's, SFC, Father 2, or the Mackie Horror Picture Show? Why does it happen? Well, let's begin at the beginning. Absolutely is, and I'm gonna be tossing this phrase around a lot in this video, so be sure to remember it, write it down if you have to, it's product displacement. It's the removing of trademark products from primarily visual media in order to avoid the payment of licensing fees if the trademark owner objects or if the broadcaster would prefer not to publicize a product for free if the owners have not paid for it to be included in a program. So in plain English, it's placing a slightly knocked off version of a brand in a piece of media. So like our DK Pepper example from earlier. In other words, it accounts for pretty much everything we're gonna talk about today. a handful of reasons an anime could have to use product displacement, but by far the most common one is that most brands have licensing fees you gotta pay if you wanna even have the brand in the background of a shot. It can be a real hassle having to pluck out all these logos and pay all these licensing fees, so it's pretty easy to understand why animators would wanna avoid it when they can by slightly knocking off the product. That way they don't have to pay the fee, but people still know what it is. Now obviously there are other reasons why some anime anime might need to throw in some product displacement, but dealing with licensing fees is by far the most common reason. But whatever the reason may be, there is a lot of irony to be found in product displacement because a study conducted by Andrea Furland for Fascari University Venice proved that product displacement in anime works just as effectively as normal product placement because the brands that are generally knocked off are still so recognizable that it doesn't matter if a letter or a word or two are off. As a matter of fact, in some cases, the displacements will get the viewer's attention even more than regular product placement because they want to see just how they displaced it. Steins Gate is actually probably the best example of this because despite it being called DK Pepper in the anime, Steins Gate caused an unprecedented boom in Dr. Pepper sales in Japan since people were still able to recognize it, which is even more amazing if you know that Dr. Pepper has usually been an incredibly unpopular soda in Japan, but Steins changed all that, all because of DK Pepper. I suspect this is why Dr. Pepper is still displaced in Steins Gate Zero, even though Dr. Pepper has put Steins Gate on some of their Japanese marketing material around the time Steins Gate was at its peak of popularity. Even though knocking brands off is definitely the more hassle-free approach to putting brands in anime, some anime will go the extra mile in trying to get some real product placement in for usually one of two reasons. The first and most obvious is money. It's basically common knowledge at this point that anime is often a high expense, low return industry that relies heavily on merchandise and character goods. Money from product placement can help fill in some of the budgetary gaps. Secondly, it's strategic for anime that want a degree of realism in them to have product placement because by having a real brand featured, it can really help with the immersion and believability. Some cases are more subtle than others, but you know. When an anime 
it gets to feature real life brands, there's a myriad of ways they could have been allowed to do that. The most obvious, of course, is that they paid the licensing fee, but from what I can tell, very few anime have actually done that. Most of the time, it's either a case like Sanrio Boys, where the brand is directly involved in the creation or the funding of the anime, but more common than that is the brand and the anime striking some kind of marketing deal where the anime will feature the brand, and in return, the brand will pay them, and sometimes, if the anime ends up doing especially well, the brand will feature the anime somehow too. Code Geass is probably the most well-known instance of a mutual marketing deal happening. According to an interview with Continue Magazine, at first, Pizza Hut only paid to have their logo featured in Code Geass like three or four times, but the animators decided to have a little fun and threw it in as much as they possibly could. It became a pretty well-liked running gag for the Code Geass viewers, which was good for the staff, and it was free advertising as far as Pizza Hut was concerned. And as I'm sure a lot of us know, Code Geass is an extremely popular anime. When it came out, it dominated sales and popularity charts. Even now, a decade after it was originally airing, Lelouch is still the most favorited character on my anime list, and not by a small margin either. So Pizza Hut took advantage of Code Geass's popularity and featured Lelouch on some of their pizza boxes for a while at certain locations. This was good for Code Geass because it was some really effective advertising for them, and it worked out for Pizza Hut because character goods can sometimes be worth more than 10 times what the anime makes if it's popular enough, and Lelouch is definitely popular enough. I can't find any hard sales numbers to prove this, but I feel extremely confident in guessing that the Pizza Hut locations that did this promotion saw heightened sales during this time because people wanted their Lelouch character goods, and a pizza box is one hell of a character good to have. interesting question I hear from time to time is why there is so much more product placement and displacement in anime now as opposed to, say, a decade ago, or honestly, even longer. Now, there has always been product placement and displacement in anime, make no mistake about that. But these days, there just seems to be way more of it happening, and it tends to be more blatant, too. And the fact that there's just more anime being made now than there's ever been before is certainly a big part of the reason why this is happening, but it's definitely not all there is to it. Product placement in general got its boom in the 80s, mostly thanks to E.T., believe it or not, since it bolstered sales for Reese's Pieces by about 65%. As far as I can see, that was the first time product placement made a huge impact on a product's sales, and businesses took notice. But while this was happening in the Western world, in Japan, the celebrity endorsement approach has been a lot more preferable to product placement. That's not to say that there has been no product placement in Japan until the last decade or so, just that it wasn't nearly as popular of an advertising technique. Even among Japanese brands that were interested in using product placement, anime wasn't really considered a very suitable area for it until recently. Most anime prefer continuous storylines as opposed to episodic ones and are therefore more susceptible to dramatic changes, and not all brands might like those changes, and therefore might not want to be associated with the anime. And aside from that, a lot of anime are trying to pull you into a fictional world. Wouldn't containing non-fictional brands break the immersion? At the very least, that was the train of thought until recently. Lately, Japan has really started to embrace anime as a good spot for product placement. Now, there is no definitive reason for this shift, but I think it's a mix of two things combined with the aforementioned larger number of anime being made in general. First and most obviously is that brands have been starting to see it done really well in recent influential anime like Code Geass and the first Eva movie. This isn't to say that product placement in anime hasn't been effective before these anime came out, because it has. Just that it hasn't been done at such a high level or been quite as effective as it's been in the past decade. And honestly, that's just pretty much any marketing strategy you can think of in general. What works one decade just might not work the next. Audiences change their tastes and how they want to consume marketing changes. And generally, when marketers discover something marketed super effectively once, they'll try to replicate that in any way they can until audiences express that they just no longer care about that strategy. That's just marketing in general. 
Second is the rise of piracy and ad-free viewing. In the last decade or so, it's become extremely easy to watch whatever you want without having to wait through the ads. Whether you're using DVR, an ad blocker, subscribing to a paid service that gives you content ad-free, or just straight up pirating it. The bottom line is that ad-free content is extremely accessible, meaning that marketers everywhere are having to get a little more creative about how and where they advertise. And what better spot than the content itself, right? But that's just product placement. Let's talk about displacement. Kind of like regular placement, there's no definitive reason why it's becoming more frequent aside from the overall number of anime getting made increasing as well. My guess for displacement is that it's on the rise to mirror placement being on the rise. Obviously, Obviously, viewers seem to be at least mildly entertained with product displacement, so it can make for some good comedy, be it subtle or a little more obvious. Alternatively, like I mentioned earlier, there are certain advantages to having real-life brands in your anime, and not everyone can afford to get those brands in there or strike a good marketing deal. So displacement, as we've already established, is a good hassle-free alternative. In short, I think displacement is on the rise in anime because placement is on the rise. It can be a convenient tool some good comedic material, or even both if you use it correctly. It's a win-win. And if everything goes well, it might lead to a good marketing deal and good money in the future. There's nothing to lose. And with that, I really hope I was able to answer all your questions about product placement and product displacement in anime. It's a really interesting phenomenon, and I think having some kind of knowledge about why the marketing is happening the way it's happening only adds to the experience. It gives you a totally newfound appreciation for it. So if there's still any Anything you're unsure about, feel free to leave a comment and either I or someone else will try to help you out. And if you're curious about where I got all this information and maybe even finding out more, I'm leaving my sources in the description so be sure to give those a read if you're interested. And you know what? I ain't even gonna beat around the bush about this. I would especially appreciate a like or a sub or a share for this video because by god I worked harder on this one than I think I ever had any of my other videos. This one took me months, plural, to finally finish up. So if at any point you thought that what I was saying was interesting, if you learned something you think is rad from this, a little bit of validation would be a pretty nice thing. I'm not that good at writing outros, but I will say that I do think marketing is cool, especially when it involves other things I'm interested in, like, say, anime and bootlegs, my great loves in life. Therefore, seeing this trend of product placement and displacement get bigger and bigger over the years for me is so fascinating, and I really hope that with this video I was able to get you a little more interested in it too. Marketing is cool, you guys. I swear to God, it's cool. Yeah.